So your shout outs for this video goes to Coaster Mayhem, Falco Flair, Nathan Grayson who suggested this video and the other video today, Ocean Panda, Sam Barwell and Star of Reno. That is your shout outs, let's get into this theme park newsroom update from Power Park. Hello there everybody, my name is Coaster Child, Doncaster born, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update where today we're heading down to Finland and to Power Park and this is all about uh, the brand new roller coaster that is now open at the park. It is of course Pit Special, it's been open for about a week I think, and um, or nearly a week and you know it's it's open it's open so we've got statistics we've got full stats we're going to share with you at the end of the video uh, how we start covering this and you know how it's been covering this project and of course uh, sharing with you my thoughts on the coaster obviously I'm yet to try the coaster but uh, I will share my thoughts and my predictions on what I think it will be uh, so before you get started please like the video if you've loved it please comment down below your thoughts uh, and opinions please subscribe for more theme park news reviews and vlogs make sure you click the notification bell as well so you never miss any more thrilling youtube content we've got a child chats interview hopefully coming up uh over the next month or so so uh fingers crossed that will all go ahead as well so that's our separate series talking to the biggest and brightest of all industries uh that's a nice series to do uh make sure you share the channel with your friends your family and on social media and make sure you keep getting your video suggestions in like this one from nathan grayson and of course the other one from nathan grayson coming today Make sure you also get your shout outs down below. Make sure you get your merchandise. Uh, message me on Instagram or Snapchat. Links in the description for both of those. Uh, to share pics of your merchandise along with your name and location. Uh, for that merchandise part 2 video in a couple of weeks. Some people have already done it already. Make sure you keep sharing your merch. And also make sure you get your questions down in the comments section down below. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. And you know what? I've never done this before. I'm going to give you a subscriber uh, mission. If this channel can hit 10,000 subscribers in the next year, I will release merchandise. That's your goal. If you can spread the channel around, if we reach 10,000 subscribers, I will release merchandise for the channel. So I'll start my own merchandise shop. I'll release some merchandise if we hit 10,000 subscribers in the next 365 days. And I'll count every single day up. And for now, guys, let's get into this theme park newsroom update and let's talk about Pit Special, the brand new aeroplane-themed infinity coaster at Power Park in Finland. So Pit's special opened back on the 24th of June 2020, so that was six days ago, nearly a week ago now, and it is a custom Gerstler Infinity Coaster. Now Pit's special has a length of 2,273.6 feet. It has a height of 142.7 feet, a speed of 62.1 miles per hour, and it has a vertical angle of 85 degrees and a g-force of 4.5, and it also includes a vertical chain lift. Now the vertical chain lift is very much a different variation of Junker because Junker has a launch. So this is one major difference which makes Pit Special just as thrilling as Junker. Now Pit Special, where does the name come from? Well it's a series of light aerobatic planes designed by Curtis Pitts who was a still more Georgia born American designer of a series of popular aerobatic biplanes which were known as Pitts Special. Now Pitts Special were biplanes that dominated aerobatic competition in the 60s and 70s. It won its first flight in 1944 and even today remains potent competition aircraft in the lower categories. Now Pitts Special opened to many great reviews. Now there's been a consensus among the community that it is the weakest Infinity roller coaster. However, I don't think so even before trying it and here is what I think why it isn't the weakest coaster of the Infinity lineup in Gerslauer's market. So that is the history, the stats and the facts for Pitt's special, this Gerslauer Infinity coaster. Now you've probably heard there why I don't think it's the weakest Infinity coaster in the Gerslauer chain, in the Gerslauer Infinity coaster lineup. Well, I think it's because it offers something different to Power Park than Junker does. Now Junker, of course, being a launched Infinity coaster, 
This one has a lift till, so straight away you've got a massive difference here. It's a vertical lift till. It's a different variation with the dive coaster aspect uh, in that vertical dr in the, in that drop from the vertical lift till. So you've got that dive aspect, which is going to be uh, very very unique to the park. Very very different for riders. Something different to what you get on Junker. And the fact it also doesn't have any inversions, which means that people that don't like going upside down can ride this one compared to Junker. So they can use Pit Special as a launch pad to get up the courage to ride Junker who has inversions. So Pit Special definitely is the more family orientated Infinity Coaster. Now there's been a lot of questions from the enthusiasts as to why Power Park decided to go with another Infinity Coaster. And, you know, reasons are all there. You know, it's not a launch coaster compared to Junker. Uh, it's got no inversions, which means it's more family orientated. So it's like a launch pad before you get onto the chorus to do Junker. And I think that, um, I think it's it's great having a non-inverting lift hill Infinity Coaster and an inversion-based launched Infinity Coaster in the same area. So we're around about next to each other. So... It's nice because they can do, and I think somebody uh, said this in a forum, I'd like to see an aeroplane themed section of the park containing those two coasters. And I'd like to see maybe a new flat ride next year or the year after, depending on the financial impact of COVID-19. Um, but maybe 2022, 2023, just to give you a, a flat ride or a family ride or two, just to you know round off that area and complete this aeroplane themed section. Uh, and it gives Power Park a lovely themed area. So I think that uh, there's many different reasons. Those are the main ones. But I think there's many different reasons why this is a great addition. It's not really the weakest Infinity Coaster. Um, compared to all the others, it, it could be considered a weak Infinity Coaster. Because you look at other coasters like Smiler, Caracho at Trips, Trill. Um, you look at different Infinity Coasters like that. Monster at Adventureland in Iowa. Of course, they're getting their free spin next year. Uh, Dragon Slayer. Make sure you check out the videos on that. Um... So there is a consensus as to why it could be the weaker one up there with the likes of Madagascar at Motion Gate Dubai. That's been considered a weak coaster among the enthusiasts in terms of the Infinity Coasters, uh, and compared to the other ones. But I can see why I can see where they're coming from with that. Uh, but on the same hand, I think the I think it was intentionally weak. Uh, for thrill seekers and I think that's probably because of the no inversions I think that uh, it's more family orientated so I wouldn't really consider it an extreme coaster I'd more consider it a thrill coaster rather than the full on extreme that Smiler is Caracho, Junker um, Madagascar to some extent so I think it's more family and I think that's why maybe it's considered one of the weaker infinity coasters but of course I'm yet to try the coaster out so obviously I can't judge for sure but I really want to get out there to Finland at some point and try that coaster out. So, in terms of covering it on the channel, we've done a couple of videos on it. Now, weirdly, this all started not as a new coaster project. This all started because we were hearing rumours that Junker was actually getting an extension to its layout. So, this was originally rumoured to be an extension of the track layout for Junker. Uh, the original launched Infinity Coaster and create a longer layout. Um... So it was originally a track extension and then the teaser video came out and then we heard rumours of it not when the construction kept picking up the pace. It was then rumoured not to be an extension, it was supposed to be a new coaster and people were confused, they were like, well, why is the two Infinity Coasters in the same park? And I think when the lifter went in, my, me personally, I think it soon became clear that they were going to go for a more lift hill based infinity coaster rather than the launch coaster that junker is and i think that there was a very smart decision to go obviously it's a bit weird having two of the same coaster type in the park but with it being different to junker in terms of how it starts and also without having no inversions as we you know discovered later on in the construction process i think that uh it became clear why they decided to go for this type of infinity coaster rather than the same coaster or a completely different coaster and that's because they wanted the same seat variation experience as Junker but for a more family audience people who don't like inversions people who like lift hills rather than launches so I think that it was a smart decision to go with this and of course we got the official name release uh, just before it launched and uh, of course it launched on the 24th of June 2020 so 
very, very good from Power Park. Obviously, they've got a uh, lot of expansion space, I'm sure, in the future. So, hopefully, they'll uh, keep adding to their part with new rides and attractions in the future once COVID-19's financial impact has settled and we're back to some kind of normality with the financial impact of this virus. So, hopefully, Power Park can keep adding brand new rides and attractions in the next few years. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news and update on Pitt's special at Power Park. The last update on Pitt's special. It's not the biggest collection of videos in the world, but you can check out that playlist. I've linked it at the end screen of the video, so you can go and check out that playlist if you want to see all the videos from this series. Thank you very much. My name is Coast Shell, Kill on the Coast Live, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.